Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're working on our 2013 F-150. Today we're putting on the full race transmission cooler kit on our 2013 F-150 EcoBoost. Working at home today. It's really hot at the shop during the day. It's been over 110 degrees for like 28 days in a row. It's finally uh, dark out. It's almost 100 degrees, about 11 o'clock at night. Figured it's a good time to get this done. So this is a transmission cooler. Uh, it came packed pretty nice, had foam all over everything. So it's pretty simple. You got a hose in, got a hose out. Come over here. This is a stock one. The stock one's a six row. The full race cooler's a 20 row. So it's gonna fill up this whole space right here. Luckily Ford gave us enough room to add a big transmission cooler in there they just didn't want to use it all so supposedly this is a 15 minute job to pop this one out put the new one in and away you go so let me get some tools all right first step was I just took my pliers pinched this hose clamp slid it down a little bit move this hose clamp up that way it's off the nipple on the transmission cooler just in case I stuff some rags down in here in case it drips a little bit I didn't want it dripping down on the intercooler or down on the frame just trying to not make too much of a mess this comes off pretty easy you just push this plastic piece out cooler appearance pops out so now that that's free on both ends I just need to use two hands pull the hose off of the intercooler or not the intercooler transmission cooler and uh it'll be free well that came off pretty easy just needed two hands to work the the hose off the transmission cooler and good thing i did put those rags down as we did get some fluid drip out made a little bit of a mess but i caught most of it in the rags on both sides the hose is Dripped a little bit of fluid down there, but we'll clean it up before we put the new transmission cooler on. I just want to show the size difference. Look at that. The six row stock one compared to the 20 row full race transmission cooler. My transmission temps were getting 200 degrees. The highest I've seen were 201 here in Arizona. It's been over 115 almost every day. So this should drop it down a bit keep those trans temps cooler and keep the training working good and longer so let's uh, get the truck ready to receive this new one all right now to get this side on you leave all these little fingers in place there are little spring tabs in there that'll help hold it on and these will curve over this tube. You just gotta get this block underneath the last part and it sets on this little plastic plate underneath. So just gotta line it up and push it over until it clicks into place. And that's that side. Now for the other side, don't mind this hose, I was just putting on testing it and that won't come off because the the fitting is barbed. It's hard to get the hose back off, so I'm just going to leave the hose on. Now to put this side on, there's this arm here that will just kind of bend out. But you got to get the bottom part above this little plastic piece, snap it in, and that plastic flap here just wraps around the cooler, and it's secure. And that's all that holds these transmission coolers on but look at that that's so much bigger than the factory one so now we just gotta move our one hose clamp down to secure that i'm gonna put this hose on here move the clamp put that back on and it's basically done except for probably adding a little bit of trans fluid back to the, to the vehicle because this holds more than the factory one I'm going to guess about half a quart. I can't find anything online that says how much more it holds than before. 
So it's a good idea to check your, your fluid anyways if you're in this far and already getting dirty.